Investors are losing millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency by unknowingly allowing other people to access and move the contents of their crypto wallets. Let's help ensure this doesn't happen to you. Hi, I'm Matt, head of research at Collective Shift, where we share the latest and best crypto analyses and advice on this channel to help you create more wealth and freedom. In this video, I'll introduce you to the concept of token approvals. I'll be covering these four points. One, what token approvals are. Two, why they can be the reason you lose all of your cryptocurrency. Three, how they are distinct from DAP permissions. And four, how to stay safe by managing your token approvals. Before we dive in, if you are enjoying the content on this channel, please do take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications on so you do not miss the latest content from the Collective Shift team. Also, if you are an investor wanting to go deeper into crypto, do check out the description below for a special discount code to our member platform. All right, token approvals. What are they? Well, a token approval, also sometimes referred to as a smart contract allowance, is something you do when you're interacting with a dApp through your crypto wallet. Easiest to understand token approvals with an example. Let's say you're on Uniswap, which is a dApp or decentralized application, and you're interacting with Uniswap through MetaMask, which is one of the world's most heavily used crypto wallets. To exchange tokens on Uniswap, your MetaMask will prompt you and will ask you to sign an approval that allows the Uniswap smart contracts to take your tokens in order for the smart contracts to execute the trade that you're wanting to make or, or the, the exchange of tokens that you're wanting to make. Doing so will cost you a small fee um, when you do sign this approval. As you probably gathered from this exam example, token approvals are extremely necessary in this new world of Web3, dApps, smart contract, blockchains, all those related buzzwords. And if you have been in the crypto space a while, you would have done this so many times. As you've also probably gathered from this Uniswap example, token approvals have the potential to get super annoying for you and me, the users. And they could also get financially very costly because imagine signing every approval that comes with a fee every time you interact with a dApp. The creators of these dApps are acutely aware of this potential problem, which is why a lot of them will ask you to grant unlimited token approval. It is this unlimited access to your tokens that is at the heart of these devastating stories of people having all of their cryptocurrencies stolen. There are two main ways that people are losing their tokens as a result of granting unlimited token approvals. The first way is when you're using a smart contract and it goes ahead, time goes on, and later it gets hacked or exploited. Here, the, the hacker or exploiter can basically drain your wallet by ordering the dApp to withdraw your tokens and basically send them to the attacker uh, without you having to ever sign anything because remember you've already given unlimited unlimited token approval the second way that you can lose as a result you can lose potentially everything as a result of granting unlimited token approvals is through when a phishing scammer or a fisher tricks you into granting unlimited token approvals on a dApp that is designed to look like another more trustworthy dApp. This has been a very big issue in the crypto space, particularly over the past one to two years. Uh, you see phishing attempts on, on Uniswap is a very popular victim of this. Uh, when this happens, your tokens can be stolen within seconds or minutes of you sending the approval transaction. And just a reminder that we do have a comprehensive guide on the Collective Shift channel to avoid crypto or NFT specific scams as well. Because as we know, the crypto space is rife with them um, being entirely online. Um, so yeah, there is always this, which I'll drop in the links below. But back to token approvals, and it's also worth highlighting here 
that hardware wallets, you know, such as Ledger Nano S or Ledger, Ledger Nano X, if you're using these token approvals, don't really give you any, they don't give you any extra protection at all compared to if you were using a web wallet or a mobile wallet like MetaMask. Uh, but overall, definitely hardware wallets are by far the one I would recommend the most in terms of the types of wallets that are out there. Uh, they are by far the most secure and safe. But I just want to point out in this case, with respect to token approvals, they don't offer any extra protection. That's very important to know. It's also important here to distinguish how token approvals are different to uh, DAP permissions because these two things are often conflated and people can get lulled into a false sense of security if they don't know uh, the distinction between them. A token approval, as I've explained, is a permission that you grant to a DAP so that it can access certain tokens in your wallet. A DAP permission, on the other hand, is a request to allow a DAP to see your wallet address, again, which is public information, and sometimes other things such as your token holdings, which again is public information if you went on a block explorer like Etherscan. MetaMask or any other reputable wallet provider will outline what exactly you are consenting to before you go ahead and connect to a DAP. DAP permissions and token approvals are just fundamental to everyday use of DAPs in the crypto world. There's, there's no getting around them. Whilst it can be a good idea from time to time to disconnect from certain DAPs that you might not have used for a long time, I really, really want to stress to you that this is not the same thing as revoking a token approval which we'll cover now. Fortunately, there are several trusted websites that allow you to review what you have currently have as token approvals. And they also have this really handy function that allows you to revoke token approvals. Just as I covered earlier in, in, this, uh, in this video, setting token approvals is an on-chain transaction. So it does have, you do have to pay a small fee whenever you do that. And so it goes without saying that if you were to revoke a token approval, that also carries a small fee as well. Um, my favorite way or my favorite, I guess, management tool for, for revoking and reviewing my token approvals is revoke.cash, which I have covered in a previous video, which I'll also link to below. Uh, there is a, just a example of what, what the website looks like. And it will, will outline every everything you currently have granted token approval to. When you are revoking token approvals, it's worth it's worth like just thinking about what exactly you are doing because this will kind of dictate how far you want to go with respect to convenience versus security. So when you are revoking an approval, you're essentially telling the related whatever DAP it is that, hey, you can no longer access and move my tokens without without my consent sort of thing. Um, and it's also worth remembering that, hey, if you use like a very trusted website or DAP like, like Uniswap or, or an interface like, like OpenSea, uh, if you use that every day, it, it, it's up to you. It's a matter of convenience or security of whether you want to revoke that every single time. For me personally, that seems a bit extreme and, and would get pretty costly over time to do that after every interaction I do on OpenSea or, or on Uniswap. Uh, but that's, that's a personal preference on how much you want to prioritize security. So to summarize, token approvals play an essential role in the world of Web3. In and of themselves, I really want you to understand that they are not a bad thing. Inherently, they are not a bad thing, even the unlimited token approvals. You know, so many of our trusted dApps in the space that have had years of reputation will implement unlimited token approvals from time to time just to help with user experience and to make things more convenient for the user. However, token approvals are at the heart, unfortunately, are at the heart of many exploits and scams, which have resulted in people losing millions and millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrencies over the years. I really want that to sink in. They can, they can change people's lives 
for the for the worse in an instant and it's terrible to see it happen week after week after week so to stay safe make sure you understand exactly what you are signing when you are interacting with a dap again any good wallet provider should tell you what you are signing before you approve and give your consent for a token approval and also to period periodically review your existing token approvals if i had one action item from this video it would be to set a monthly reminder whether it's on your phone or on a calendar software such as google calendar uh, to review your token approvals on websites say yeah every month or, or every fortnight every three months it really is a matter of again security versus convenience my ask for you is to comment below with any questions you have about token approvals and I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Again, if you do it, were liking this video, please, uh, it would be much appreciated if you, if you went ahead and liked it. Subscribe to the Collective Shift channel and also checked out our member platform over at collectiveshift.io. Do check out other videos from the rest of the team at Collective Shift and I will see you again next time.